Hey guys, what's up? This is Luis El Apostol Feliz, number two here. Happy little Thursday, little Friday, y'all. And today I'm going to show you guys a nice bus. But stick around at the end of the video. When I did the Arm and Hammer haul, I mean review, um, I'm going to have to do that on a separate video. And, um, Today I've got a little review on this bus, on this toy bus by Rugged Racers, and um, I'm going to show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly about this bus, because trust me, no toy bus is perfect. So let's start from the bottom. So. Oh man, oh man, I don't want to damage it. So you can see there, your lights, your headlights there. They don't function, but that's okay. You do have your um, fog lamps there. Spot for a license plate. I don't know what this logo is supposed to mean, but maybe it's... Um, a Mercedes logo there or something this is not supposed to be based on a real bus um, you do have here your windshield wipers which is very nice this window looks these two windows are in pretty good condition a little bit, a little bit, a little pushed in a little bit, but that's okay. Now, coming, coming to this side, check out those wheels, though. You do have your interior there. Now, the first problem that I do want to address This, this door is very, very, very stiff. And when you open it, it just does not want to open up. So, I'm a little disappointed that, I'm a little torn on the fact that this door does not want to close. When you open it, it just doesn't want to, doesn't open very good and you see this here <sighs> you see this here it, it it's a little I wouldn't say it's a little crooked but there's a little bit of a gap right here but it looks fine um, check out these wheels though. Look very nice. And, um, your mirrors look very good. Your dog ear mirrors. Um, like one of the salesmen at Northwest Bus Sales says. And, um, you do have here kind of like your bonded window right here. Um, which looks very nice. Right here, you can see it's straight. But I'm going to show you guys the other side. And you'll see why I'm a little disappointed on that. This door opens and closes very nice. Um, this door here is a l very... It's stuck. It, it this part right here looks very crooked here. This part here is crooked. That's not the level of quality I'd like to see. But you do have here where it says big bus there. And um you can see the back. Upon looking at it. 
this kind of decal. A little pushed in right here. A little banged up there. But it looks good. Um, it, it is a sticker though. Which I wish they could have used some tampos there. Some tampos there. But check out that interior detail. Looks super nice. Your tail lights done up pretty pretty nicely and here is my my biggest complaint you see that there that is bad right here it starts here not so bad but when it comes here, to this side, it is super, super bad. And I feel like for $9, this should not be pushed in. This should stay in its own spot. So we're going to drop a big zonk. Just for this area here. And and for that door in the back right here. Um, because who wants to pay nine bucks with for a bus that's got all this all these defects? But you do have you can see, as y'all can see, finally a stairwell that looks also cool this is how a tour bus should be inside and it, it, yeah i'm a little i'm a little disappointed here you see it is banged up right here and right here it looks super cheap super low quality and it, it even wiggles inside. This is not the quality I expect for rugged racers. But overall, it's a great bus. And um, it is a nice rig. Now, coming to the roof here, you do have your buttons there. Would have been nice right here if they could have done a roof hatch, a roof hatch there. But you do have your um your two your four buttons here, your red, white, and blue. And um sorry, your battery box looks like a like a little AC unit. And um it looks it's in good condition. Your speaker there. It looks super cool. And look at those two AC units. That is cool. Now, coming to the bottom here. Um, oh, man. Right here. There is where I kind of feel like this is on. This is not on. This is not level. And for a $9 bus, this is not the quality I expect. But if it does have friction, looks so nice with that friction. But I'm a little disappointed that this kind of... Mm, this here kind of uh, is pushed in a little bit. But right here, right here it's not too bad. Right here where the mirrors are, not too bad. But when it comes to here, there's a little bit of a dip right there. And But when it comes to the back, there's a little bit of a dip right there. I mean, just, just a... 
a teeny bit. But the bottom looks okay. So this is not, I mean, the quality I expect for a bus worth this, I mean, worth nine bucks at Ross. But I, I really definitely recommend it. It is not highly recommended. I, I highly recommend it. But if you could look, overlook those shortcomings about this bus, make sure um, you should buy it. And maybe put this on the display case. Because um, maybe on the box it says ages 3 and up. I feel like this is more for collection. <sighs> so yeah, so when you close when you close this door here, the front door, it's ugh, really stiff. And when you um, when you open it, it gets very stiff. This one opens very good, except for this door. So maybe I'm going to have to disassemble it and maybe kind of fix it, fix it here a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, I'm a little... I'm a little bummed up, bummed about it. So, this is, but this is cool. Is it perfect? No, it's not. There really is no perfect toy. But if you could overlook these imperfections, um, if you could overlook those imperfections, um, this is a great unit. This is a great bus to add on your bus garage or maybe add, I mean, put it in a display case. Um, or if you have a bus yard diorama, a city bus diorama, um, it looks so nice. So let me know what you guys think. Um, Wow, this is not the video I expected, but next time I'll bring you guys a better video. So, but this is a nice video overall. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know and let me know um, what is... Mm, the best thing that you should do for to kind of bring this bus back to life because when I felt the back of the box and I saw that big dent I'm like uh oh something's not right so but hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure you guys comment like share and subscribe Luis El Apóstol Feliz, number two saying, peace.